Hello everyone. Because the first Annoying Attacks video did pretty well, in this week's video I will be going over the most annoying attacks for workshop characters. I tried to pick characters that a lot of people know, and if you disagree with any of my choices for most annoying attack, be sure to comment down below what you thought a character's most annoying attack was. With that out of the way, let's get going. First is the funny video game Bone Man Sans. Look, I didn't want to have to add Sans here, but he is one of the most popular characters, so I felt obliged to add him. While up special can be hard to deal with with Sans being invincible for most of the attack, the startup is slow, leaving Sans relatively open to a spike punish. The end of the move also has a hitbox, so if you know where your opponent is teleporting to, you can easily parry it with a little practice. That's why I think Sans' white bone attack is far more suited for this award. Forward tilt, up tilt, back air, and down special can all perform this attack, meaning that it can be used to hit an opponent from almost any angle. The move also doesn't have much cooldown between using the attack multiple times, meaning that it's super spammable. Although the projectile is slow, it more than makes up for this with its insane damage, which does more depending on the character's hitbox. Sometimes, if a character's hitbox is too big, it'll do even more than Sans's neutral special. But it's a slow-moving projectile, which means you can just parry it, I hear you say. Well, if you observe here for a moment, you'll realize that the projectile does not get reflected when you parry it. That's right, all you get from parrying this super strong spammable projectile is a few iframes. I'm sorry, but if you think that a projectile that does insane damage is easily spammable and can't even be reflected isn't annoying at all, all I have to say is you must be a robot. There is simply no other explanation. So before we continue, I'm going to need you to fill out a CAPTCHA to prove you're not one of them. Just click the little red button down below and you'll be all good to go. I'm just going to trust that you did the CAPTCHA and move on now. Goose honestly doesn't have any annoying attacks. While the walkie talkies can be annoying at times, they have enough cooldown between stronger honks that I feel like they're decently fair. So yeah, I guess Goose really doesn't have any annoying attacks. Just kidding, the taunt on the sand salt is louder than a 10 year old raging in a Call of Duty voice chat. For the night, it's not going to be an attack that can hurt you, rather more of a mobility tool. Let me give you a quick breakdown of the knight real quick. The knight uses its sword to zone out enemies, which its long range and knockback is the perfect tool for the job. The main disadvantage of this though is that most moves containing the sword have a sizable amount of end lag, and combined with the high knockback of moves, this makes it hard for the knight to combo. But what if, hear me out now, we gave the knight a move that acts as a more sloppy but further and aerial version of the wave dash. That's right, chaos ensues. If you're not convinced that the knight's dash is an annoying move yet, just try playing against the level 9 knight CPU yourself for a bit. The CPU is one of the best I've ever seen on the workshop, and I highly recommend fighting against it, especially if you main the knight. Who knows, maybe you'll learn a thing or two from it. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes, knight dash bad bottom text. Don't worry guys, I'm definitely not putting this character in the video to boost views. There are so many different moves to choose from when it comes to Giga Chad. Neutral special feels like it comes out way faster than it should and has this hitbox. Similarly, up tilt has a giga sized hitbox and sends upwards which can lead into an up air chain. But by far, the most annoying move of them all is side special. This move has good range, the ability to semi spike or throw an opponent backwards, and doesn't even put you in special fall, making it an amazing recovery tool. I know it's kind of unfair to judge a side character based off how strong and annoying their attacks are because, let's be honest, most side characters are either much stronger compared to the rest of the workshop, or at least one point they were. <laughs> Remember Zeta clones? Yeah, that was sure fun to deal with, but regardless, I'm still ranking side special as Giga Chad's most annoying move. It has the recovery tools akin to Puff's Pound from Melee, with the added bonus of being able to combo and throw opponents off stage. <laughs> I know Sandbert is a bit of an OP character already, but I felt obligated to add him as he was the first character added to Workshop. Even though all of Sandbert's specials are annoying in their own way, I find Up Special to be the worst defender. 
My main problem with this move is that at any point while you're fighting a Sambert, they can just kind of vibe on out of there. This whole character's moveset I find annoying. Unless you play chess piece a lot, or play against someone who plays chess piece a lot, then when you encounter someone playing this character, you're going to be completely lost. My pea-sized brain is already full of all the stupid memes I look at all day, so when you throw a character at me that has five mini characters in it, my brain starts to short circuit and I just start screaming. But if you don't have a pea-sized brain like me, you'll have a good time. For Chara, it's F-Strong, and pretty much for one reason only. Normally, this move is decently balanced with the longer you hold it, the longer you'll be stuck after you teleport back. And because of this, it's great for quickly running in, hitting your opponent with a strong attack, and then quickly teleporting out. The problem arises when you start to use it at ledge. You see, by using F-Strong at ledge, you can do stuff like this. Why ledge guard with a spike when you can just fling yourself over the edge with F-Strong? You can also teleport right back to where you started, so there's no fear in getting spiked yourself off stage. I will say that this is extremely fun to do, and is what made up a majority portion of my Chara combo video, but it's not so fun to be on the receiving end of. Unless you're recovering high or have a teleport recovery, this move is going to be the bane of your existence. It's not like this move is even punishable if used correctly, because if you want to avoid it, you'll have to air dodge, which gives the Chara player enough time to teleport back and be on their way. So yeah, fun to fight with, but not fun to fight against. While all of Mario's strong attacks can be super irritating when he gains enough speed, whether it be a ridiculously big hitbox, super spammable, or super strong, the main way Mario gains this speed is either by hitting an opponent or by using down special, which is the move I have chosen to be the most annoying. Down special plants down this tiny bug that can be killed in one hit, but if Mario is able to stomp on it then he will gain a certain amount of speed with the speed being higher the longer the bug is on screen. If the bug starts to shake and Mario steps on it, a rift will open that will give Mario an insane amount of speed. This is all well and good so far. The longer you leave the bug on screen, the more speed you get as long as you're able to defend it from your opponent. A pretty good risk reward mechanic. Except it's not because it only takes about a second to place a new bug down after one is destroyed. Why even bother trying to defend the bug when you can just run around the stage spamming down special until you're up to max speed? It's really sad that just because this move is spammable, it's not designed very well in my eyes. I feel like the move should at least have a 3-5 to five second delay between placing down a new bug once the previous one dies, because if that was the case, I think the move would be designed wonderfully with its risk-reward mechanic. While Chris does have a funny cloud up air, as well as a forward air the size of Canada, neither of these pale in comparison to neutral special. Oh, what's this? The opponent Chris has 50% meter and you're offstage trying to recover? No! Are you trying to play a safe neutral while at a high percent? No way! Did you think you could finally escape that combo? Uh, no! Oh, and this move can't be parried by the way, so have fun with that. Let's all stop, get lunch at McDonald's! Let's all stop, get lunch at McDonald's! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look, it's the guy! It's the funny clown guy! Ho oh, oh, ho, I wonder what his most annoying move will be! Get it? Because, like, all the moves are OP? But out of all of the crazy, wacky moves, the most OP one has to be 